Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, let's see here. Today is December 14th. Man, time flies. F flies by this year. Uh, anyway, uh, 2021 is almost over. So today we are going to have some fun conversation, okay, fun topic. I'm going to tell you about the kind of truth about the high-end express machines out there. Fact is, I've been using it for, what, last couple of months now. So I start with Bravo Barista Express. So this is $600 coffee machine, okay? Uh, $599. So this is a Lillette Bianca. It sells for around three grand. Um, the comes to price wise, pretty much the same anywhere you go. If you go to Espresso Outlet, uh, Joe selling for around $29, $29.65, okay? If you go to Whole Latte, I don't think Whole Latte Lover sells it, but like, I think like Prima or Chris's Coffee, they're selling for pretty much the same price. It's about three thousand. But I, I know we've been talking about this for a long time. Is that worth it? Okay, is that worth it? Purchasing it. You know what? Uh, I'm going to open up the floor. Okay, this morning, and then I'm gonna I'm going to ask that certain question to you guys. I love to hear from you. Okay, I love to hear from your thoughts on it. Is that really worth it? I know some of you already have a high emotion at home. I mean. If you are planning on doing it again, do it again, are you planning on buying the high-end machine or you, you rather spend money on something lesser machine but put some uh, put money on elsewhere? So I'd love to hear from you guys, okay? I'd love to hear from you. And also uh, make sure to join the chat as well. We have a live chat going on. And then, so with the live chat, I mean, I can see your question so right away, okay? So if you have any questions or thoughts, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. But if you are watching this after the fact, and I'd love to hear, is that worth it? Okay, if you have high emotion at home, doesn't matter which machine, okay, could be the Bianca. If you have, let's say, Profetec 700 or ECM Synchronica, yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know what you really think about the machine. Uh, because, I mean, so far, uh, I've been using, so I, so I used the Rocket Apartmento for a while. I like it, okay, don't get me wrong, that's a great machine. And then I upgrade the quick meal of uh, last few months there. Great machine, great beer quality. And I think I ended up buying this from Joe at Espresso Outlet, okay. So a little like Bianca here. I mean, they're all fantastic machines. So this one is a thermal block uh, vibrator pump, okay. And the, this one is a, with a rotary pump, which means extremely quiet. and what what else? Uh, extremely quiet dual boiler, which means you can brew and steam at the same time, and the built-in PID as well. You have a really uh, precise temperature control. So, man, hold on a second here. We uh, we got some like uh, we got live chat going on here. Uh, Dogman twenty two say Yolo. Is it what's Yolo, Ryan? Uh, I think, I think YOLO means what? You live what? You, wait, hold on. Yeah, let, let me know what, what that is, okay? What's YOLO means? We got Amanda, uh, let's see. Amanda mentioned about, the, you know what? Uh, about the updating grinder is the, another great idea as well. Again, I mean, if you have a good grinder at home, let me know, is a, uh, okay, YOLO means you only live once. Okay, there we go. So. Yes, you're right. Okay, you're right. You leave only once. But comes to coffee, I, I think we have to think about the, what kind of co coffee drinker you have. Okay, at home right now, okay, I'm using the Bravo Brewster Pro. Okay, and uh, I use it, my wife uses it, my boys are using it. They're a great machine. I have no desire to upgrade to machine like this. Okay, machine like $3,000 coffee machine. I mean, it does a great job there. He does an amazing job, and you know what? I mean, my boys, my wife, we don't care. Uh, they don't care about the espresso, okay? They like to make milk bakes drink in the morning. Uh, make you know, make latte or cappuccino in the morning. You know, they're up, you know, on their way. So I mean, so who needs motion like this? Most likely, people like us, okay? People like you and me. You know, we have you know, we're trying to figure out the, the best way to. Kind of like bring out uh, your espresso, okay? Most likely we're not 
we're not going to buy a high-end machine to make cappuccino, okay? Again, I mean, I mean, if you're that person, please let me know in the comment section as well. Love to hear your thoughts on that, okay? Uh, Dane, uh, Dane mentioned about that depend on what you want. Yes, that is absolutely true, okay? But, I mean, so if you're watching this right now, I'm not talking about you guys on the chat room, okay? You guys are the, you know, you guys are the, those people. Okay, lo love coffee, coffee is your hobby. Um, I see your point of view. But we are talking about people using uh, maybe like uh, Bravo Pizza uh, Express at home or Pro, okay? Thinking about upgrading to a high-end machine because you really like co ma uh, coffee making, but you're not quite sure, is that worth spending three grand? By the way, it's not, you're not spending 3000 You have to buy the capable grinder as well, okay? Which means the capable grinder costs you about 1000 bucks. A good niche grinder, the niche grinder, I have it over there. Uh, you can get for like seven, $800, depends. Okay, if you want now, uh, you can go to the retail market, but they're selling for 900 for that grinder. And if you want like DF64, the 64 millimeter flapper, grinder you can get it from joe's website uh, espresso outlet 450 bucks shift and we have what uh, we have bratza coming up with some great uh bratza vario uh, that's also a great grinder as well uh, around 450 to 500 so it all depends okay and uh, if you're if you're spending three grand man I, you know what that, that is a top, okay? That is a, is that worth it? You know, the personal, if you ask me, okay, is that $3,000 on coffee machine is worth it? My answer is no, okay? But the fact is no coffee machine worth $3,000. Uh, if you have uh, di uh, different ideas about it, let me know in the comment section or let me know in the live chat as well. Okay, I mean, uh, love to hear your thoughts on it because a good coffee machine makes you coffee in the morning. You know, good coffee in the morning. And, man, again, uh, I know we got some good live chat going on here. Okay, hold on a second here. We have, uh, oh, hold on. Dane mentioned about the uh, high end. Uh, so, okay, high end is very subjective. Yep, that is true. Okay, that is true. Uh, Bianca and E61 Group head. So, this is all E61 Group head, which means. Uh, group heads are the pretty much the same. Uh, E61 group is very well known around for a long time, very proven. Uh, so you can get a good heat exchange machine. Okay. So if you don't want to spend three thousand, we have a good heat heat exchange machine here. Hold on. Let me guys uh, show you guys. So Lilith makes a wonderful heat exchange machine. Uh, we got Murat X. Bozera makes pretty good one. Quick Mirror makes good one as well. Hold on here. Uh, Rock, Ivis, let's not forget the Rocket Apartmento. Okay. So these are about seventeen hundred bucks for Rocket. I mean, you can get a really fa uh, you can get a really nice motion for under two thousand. Okay, under two thousand dollars for sure. So, I mean, if you don't want to spend three thousand. I mean, the fact is, you have a lot of options, okay? You have a lot of options to uh, move, you know, I mean, up your game. So, yeah, I mean, again, uh, uh, love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so this machine right here, so this is a $500 or $600 coffee machine. I added $6 flow control on it, okay? The flow control, so I can actually change the flow of the machine. Is that better than, is that as good as a little Bianca? Flow control? No. But I have to say very close, okay? Uh, the shot from my Bravo Barista Express, I mean, once I dialed in just right, compared to my Bianca, you know what? I mean, personally, it's hard to tell. Okay, let's put it that way. But again, so we're not, we're not just buying for just a coffee machine, okay? We are buying, you know, for the style as well, okay? Just how beautiful this, Motion is the wooden trim. So you are buying for the package. It's how well fit into your kitchen. Okay. And if you are if you just want to make good coffee in the morning, 
you know what? I mean, three thousand dollar coffee machine is not worth it. Okay, it's not worth it. We are just talking about the making coffee. Okay, but if you are looking at the whole package, how it fit into your lifestyle, and that's that's totally different story. So we have, we have coffee maker here, and now we have goodness. We have the kind of like lifestyle fit into your lifestyle. So again, once you become your hobby, that's a different story. So because I know some of you out there own a like six thousand dollar coffee machine, seven grand. I know some coffee machines are up to ten thousand. If you are looking at the Slayer, man, you're again nine grand. Uh, La Marzacco, the GS3 is about what Se seven eight thousand dollars. I know Melvin is on the chat room right now. Uh, Melvin has the Rocket i91. It's about what six grand, seven thousand, six or seven. Ridiculous amount of money. Okay. Hold on, uh, let me see. Let me find out how much that machine is. Okay, so I'm looking at the Slayer here. That's about 10 grand. Okay, Slayer is about 10 grand. And there's some Rocket. Uh, so Rocket is also another fantastic machine as well. R91. Goodness. Hold on a second. We got the R91. I'm looking at the price. $7,000, folks. Okay. So this is what Melvin has. Seven grand uh, USD. So it all depends on what you guys want out of your coffee. Okay. But if you are planning on, if you guys just looking for good, Quality coffee, seven thousand dollar coffee machines versus even three thousand dollar coffee machine. The the incremental increase in quality is you cannot. Personally, I cannot tell the difference. Okay. And then it comes to six hundred dollar coffee machine to even three thousand dollar coffee machine. Man, most people. I'm not talking about you guys. Okay, you guys are watching. Obviously, you guys are watching for my channel for, you know, you guys are not the regular coffee makers out there. But, but most of us, we enjoy Starbucks once in a while. We cannot, I bet you, you cannot tell the difference between $600 coffee machine, machine to even $3,000 coffee machine once you start making like milk baked drink, okay? We are talking milk baked drink. Uh, make, you know, cappuccino or small latte. I don't think it's hard to tell. Okay, how to tell. So, again, I think Joe uh, brought it up. Good point there. Uh, pro, Bravo Barista Pro is good enough for pretty much 99% of people. I mean, most of us. I mean, this makes, makes great coffee, I have to say. Okay. And I made uh, my wife the other day, you know, coffee from Bianca and Bravo Barista Pro. She cannot tell the difference. So, I mean, this is kind of like fun about, you know, talking about this high emotion. I know whenever you watch uh, other YouTube creators out there talking about their machine and some retailers kind of like the latest, greatest coffee machines, the fact is it does a good job. Okay, all the machine does fantastic job. But, man, once you pass that $1,500 range there, even 1000 it's become, I mean, it's kind of like become what you like, you know? I mean, we are talking about, you know, we are talking about sports car at this point. You want to buy Ferrari or you want to buy Lamborghini, you know? So think of it as like Brista Express, like Honda, very reliable coffee machine. Get you there point A to point B, right? Get you there. But with those high-end machines, get you there in style. So, man. Anyway, again, I mean, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on it. If you have high machines right now at home, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? If you guys are going to do, do it over again, okay? You're going, you are going to spend money on better grinder or better machine. Uh, let me know. Uh, Amanda, let's see. Amanda, I don't want to spend more than $800. 
if you don't want to spend eight hundred dollars, I think like Bravo Brista Pro is good. Okay, I like the Pro, and then I like the Express. But man, the Pro is still eight hundred dollars, folks. Okay, seven ninety nine. So I mean that is still very priced for most people out there. And then with Express, we are looking at what five ninety nine, so about six hundred dollars there. So oh goodness. Man, I'm telling you, that is a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, but if I have choice right now, I think I go with the Pro. Okay, I like the Pro better than Express just because how fast that machine that is. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, the Pro is a really good option. I mean, but if you already have Pro right now or Express, I, spend, I think I'm going to start with a better grinder first. I mean, if you want to. You know, if you enjoy making coffee, okay. If your coffee has become your hobby, yeah. Carlos asks, "Can you recommend uh, Nuova Simonelli Oscar for 14?" You know what? They are great machines. I have to say. I mean, those can go wrong with the machine over like thousand dollars. They are all good. Lillet makes great ones. Even uh, Nuova makes great one as well. Even Quick Meal. Uh, they are all fantastic coffee machines. So, I mean, you won't be disappointed. Okay. Uh, Amanda is in Canada right now. Eight hundred dollars in Bravo Brista Express. Eight hundred dollars in Canada. I May mean, I have to say, I mean, you guys charge a lot of taxes there. So, I think you guys pay what import fees, right? I'm pretty sure they are paying import fees. Let's see here, Brian. Let's see here, Brian mentioned about that. I can't even see myself spend three thousand dollars in machine. Uh, yeah, that is true, Brian. Absolutely. But the dual boiler from Bravo is about fifteen hundred bucks. That is a sneaky good machine. Okay. I mean, if you want a machine like that, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely check out the dual boiler. Get yourself good. Okay, so you have a dual boiler right now. Okay, so imagine you spend fifteen hundred bucks on dual boiler, and you're gonna spend another what, five hundred dollars on grinders. Now it's become two thousand. So. Man, I, I'm, I'm two grand. Goodness. Okay, so if you are spending two thousand, unless coffee is your hobby, right? I mean, if your coffee is your hobby, hold on a second. So if you want, if you just want to make coffee for your family, I think I go with the Pro, Bravo Brista Pro. Okay, because Pro comes with a built-in grinder that's capable, does pretty good job. Okay. Does pretty good job. So, unless if you like making coffee, enjoying coffee, tweaking it, if you like to experiment with the different coffee recipes, and I go with a uh, dual boiler, fifteen hundred bucks, and I'm gonna spend money on the grinder as well. The good grinder costs you about thousand bucks. Okay, what uh, whichever you look at it, thousand to fifteen hundred bucks there. We are talking about good grinder, so. I mean, goodness, even special leader from Eureka, they're what, 700 bucks? So you're looking at between seven and thousand bucks for a good grinder. Because you don't want to buy, if you spend $1,500 on your coffee machine, you don't want to use a smart grinder. Okay? I def because grinder is very important. Okay? So, Amir, goodness, Bravo Pro in Malaysia is around fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, man. So Hugh mentioned about the uh, uh, dual boiler. Only thing under maybe two thousand. Yeah, I mean, I think you are correct. I mean, dual boiler is a really nice machine. Okay. Hold on a second here. We have so. Uh, 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 Marconi X54 sell for 750. Yep, the Marconi is pretty good. DF64 is that sneaky good uh, coffee grinder. Make sure you gotta align it. Okay, make sure to the align your coffee grinder. Uh, I think you should be good to go. Uh, Florian asks, what do you think about the best grinder under 400 euro? 400 euro is what? How much is a 400 euro? It's about Hold on, let me look it up here. 400 euro equals to 400 euro to dollars. 
about 450 bucks. So 450, goodness, the uh, the Eureka, the entry level machine, they're very good. Okay, those flappers are great. I, I know uh, I, I know a lot of people likes Barrio as well. Bratza Barrio is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Barrio is good. I know Brian is a big fan of Barrio. Again, uh, I mean, they're a great grinder. So, but you know what? The, fa the funny thing is, I mean, we are talking about even $900 coffee machine here, okay? And uh, whenever I talk to my friends, they think I'm crazy. They are using at home, they are using Keurig, okay? Well, one of the spa thing, they think they are drinking the best coffee out there. So it's all depend on, you know, who do you talk to? I know, uh, let's see, I know Dane's watching right now. Dane has the Bianca with the Weber EZ1. The EZ1 is about 3,500 bucks for the coffee grinder, folks. Okay, I, I saw Jackie earlier. So Jackie has the monolith. It's about $3,500 coffee grinder. Okay, so, uh, so, so again, so we are, we are th that, that, that's why coffee is great about the coffee community. I mean, I mean, you could spend, you know, you know, the, you, you can buy like, let's say AeroPress, okay? The AeroPress is sitting right, yeah. My, uh, I got my AeroPress over there. They cost you about 20 bucks. And they get yourself an Amazon hand grinder. So you could spend what, less than 50 bucks. You can make great coffee in the morning, okay? Or you can spend $10,000 on coffee machine. You are going to also make the great coffee as well. It's all depend on what you guys want. And then, so I know people ask me, who and which machine should I get? I think uh, before they ask that question, I mean, I guess you have to ask yourself, you know, I mean, is that coffee, you know, is that coffee is your hobby? Once you answer that question, the buying is a lot easier. Because, I mean, if you're planning on spending at least a couple hours every week, okay, especially on weekends, I know you guys are busy early in the morning. And if you guys enjoy the ritual, enjoy the routine, and then I think you consider yourself as, you know, uh, hobbyist. I'm going to big shout out to Florian for super chat there. Super chat. Yeah, we are, uh, we are crazy. But I like us, the coffee. Yeah, we have great coffee community. So it's all depend on what you guys want. Okay, all depend on what you guys want. I know people, you know, talk, you know, we talk about coffee machine a lot. Okay, we talk about coffee machine all the time. But it's ultimately... And it's all bottom line is all, all, all about the, the ingredient. You need a good coffee. Okay. Hold on. I got some, uh, just make sure get yourself some fresh coffee. So key is the good cup coffee. I mean, good uh, whole beans. Okay. Not the pre-ground beans, just good coffee beans from, you know, if you can find a good local roaster, great. Okay. And then yeah, just have some, you know, just make yourself. Kind of like play with it, but if I were you, okay, if you are starting off coffee as your hobby, I think I'm going to start with something affordable, okay? So maybe like Bravo Brista Express is good, Bravo Brista Pro is fantastic, Gaza Classic, okay, that's also a great machine as well. If you are looking at a, a semi-automatic machine, okay, even like uh, Bambino from Bravo is also good. But I mean, if you don't want to deal with, again, I mean, if you don't want to buy separate grinder, you only have a couple of options. Bravo, uh, Bravo Brista Express or Bravo Brista Pro, they are great, has built-in grinder. And I know DeLonghi makes one as well, very similar type, but yeah, I, I prefer the Bravo because I've been using it for a long time. I know it has a good track record. So yeah, I think overall, I think I, I, I prefer the Bravo machines, but uh, again, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? Uh, once you you guys are watching this, you know, after the fact. By the way, I, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure if you do, make sure thumbs up. And uh, house, make sure uh, mention about the Flare Fifty Eight. If you like espresso, okay, we are talk about espresso only, like espresso or like americano, 
just a black coffee. Flare 58, make sure go with the heating elements, okay? I think flare is going to come up without the heating elements, but make sure go with heating elements that, you know, make, make sure everything is get hot. I mean, they are fantastic. The Flare 58 is a very sneaky, great machine. So if you, again, if you like espresso, make sure check out the Flare 58 as well. Okay, but if you guys like the milk-based drink, if you make a lot of milk-based drink in the morning, like, you know, for your families, I think I go with uh, probably the Pro, okay? The Pro is good because Pro is a lot faster than Express. The steaming is better. It has a better, yeah, it's a kind of overall better machine. They tweak it, okay? It's not true, truly pro, you know, the pro means professional, but it's not professional, but it's definitely tweak it from Bravo Brista Express. So I think, I, I think that's a good machine to go. Again, they're like still $800, folks. So it's not cheap. But you know what? The fact is, compared to, you know, other machines you are looking at, Fifteen to two thousand dollars on coffee machine, so eight hundred dollars can be, you know, it's not too bad. Okay, I mean at least it's I I don't it's kind of like gear free machine there, gear free because whatever is if I don't like the uh, coffee making, Bravo Brista Pro and Express is in high demand, so you can always resell it. Okay, resell it for you know pretty decent price, but if you spend three thousand dollars on coffee machine, you decide that you know what this is not for me goodness it's hard to sell those machines Sp especially a uh, high-end coffee machine i don't know about gr high-end gr uh, coffee grinder hold their value but high-end coffee machines good yeah so make sure if you guys are decide to buy a high-end machine get the machine you guys want okay make sure you get the safe money uh, get the machine you guys want all right, I think we are pretty good this morning. It's about nine o'clock right now. Well, we talked for a while, okay? We, we talked for the last few minutes though, yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday morning. Uh, by the way, I just got a coffee beans. Here is, here is a coffee beans from Sky Top, folks. So I got, so this is a Sky Top, uh, Wow. It's called Wish Wish. Okay. I heard, uh, okay, I have not even opened this one yet. Smells, smells fantastic. Hold on. So again, this is a sky top. You know what? I'm not gonna open it yet. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna wait another, uh, another few more days. I'm just gonna smell it through the one-way valve. Boy, it smells very fruity, very peachy. Okay, so I cannot wait to try uh, try this one out. Uh, maybe we're gonna do that maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to. Highly recommend by Steve. So. Really looking forward to it. So again, uh, it's all about the coffee. Okay, as long as we have a good coffee machine at home, just start kind of like looking into you know good coffees in in your local area, because we have a lot of good uh, local roasters out there in your community. So make sure check out the make make sure uh, uh, try to use the fresh roast coffee, and just have some fun. Okay, ha have some fun with your coffee. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And then, you know what? I might jump into Instagram, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, let's jump into Instagram. And uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do so. We do a lot of live chat. Uh, we do a lot of live chat and we just hang out. We just talk about more coffee stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning and see you guys on Instagram.